So for all those people that thought the Muslim ban was a good thing, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the program. According to Forbes magazine, Iran is going to drop the dollar in the wake of Trump's Muslim ban. Now, this is what you call a precedent, and other countries are going to start doing the same. And you know what that means? It means the dollar is going to crash. The Iranian government is going to stop using the dollar in its official statements, according to a report in the local English language daily, the Financial Tribune. The decision was announced by Central Bank of Iran Governor Biola Saif during a television interview on the evening of January 29th, and according to the paper, is due to make take effect from the start of the new fiscal year on March 23rd. 21st. I don't know why I just said 23rd, because I was thinking of the numerology in my head, actually. It will affect all official financial and foreign exchange. Okay, so... How long have we been waiting for the dollar to crash? Quite a while, right? And they just keep propping it up, propping it up, quantitative easing, one, QE2, QE3. You see what I'm saying? This is the plan. This will cause an enormous precedent and other countries will follow suit and it's going to lead to war. Or You see what I mean? This is opening the doors up for all sorts of things to happen because if people stop using the dollar, our dollar, Inflation will go through the roof. I guarantee gas prices all jump today because of this. It's going to get ugly, and it'll only affect you and I. The rich people all knew this was coming. This was probably part of Trump's deal. You want to keep your billions? We need you to pretend you're the president for a while because you're already an actor, right? Unbelievable. It's funny how they bring so much attention to the doomsday clock, but they never, ever flash this on the news, do they? Look at this. We are in serious trouble, and this is only the money that they show us. They don't talk about the derivatives and all the other stuff that Wall Street's done with your money over the years. Not at all. This is insanity. Absolutely insane. Unrepayable. And you know who's on the line for all this money? Me? You? Your kids? Your grandkids? I mean, this is absolute in insanity. And the Federal Reserve keeps cranking out money, back, backed up by nothing. I mean, Nixon's the one that shut off the Federal Reserve from using the gold standard. And it, it's been that way ever since. It was supposed to be temporary, just like everything else. And it continues to this day. Protect the position of the American dollar as a pillar of monetary stability around the world. In the past seven years, there's been an average of one international monetary crisis every year. Now, who gains from these crises? Not the working man, not the investor, not the real producers of wealth. The gainers are the international money speculators. Because they thrive on crises, they help to create them. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest in the world. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. There you go. And you can tell he really meant this. This, this really came from his heart. You can tell because he's looking down at his heart so he can read the words to you. This was supposed to be a temporary measure. He's talking to you like, you know, it's, it's me and you against the world. These people... These are just actors, all of them. They're chosen to be put in place. The United States is a corporation. It has been since the 1800s. That's not a rumor. That's not speculation. That's a legit thing. You see what I'm saying? We've been hoodwinked, and Trump's been brought in to bring the house down. You see what I'm saying? Remember the Economist cover? Exactly. I'll leave you links in the description so you can check this all out for yourself. But this is how wars start. This is exactly how wars start. And how convenient is it that it's Iran? Because we never talk about Iran with their nukes and their hatred for Israel. That, you know what I mean? That's just be prepared. Be ready. Richie from Boston. I'm out.